The second toolbox uh, in the sketching mode is Modify Toolbox. Use the Modify Toolbox to edit your sketch. You can draw a fillet for intersecting and non-intersecting edges. Select an endpoint connecting two edges or two edges or points to place a tangent arc of the specified radius between them. The selection locations are used to determine both where to place the tangent arc and uh, which end of the selected edge to trim or extend to the tangency location. You can uh, also use the right mouse button options to control the trimming of the selected edge or to optionally create a full circle with no trimming. You can draw a chamfer for intersecting and non-intersecting edges. Select an endpoint connecting two edges or edges to create a chamfer line breaking the corner between them. The length specified is the distance from the intersection location of the edge to each of the endpoints of the uh, chamfer line. Uh, like the fillet, uh, you can use the right mouse button options to control the trimming of the selected edge for the chamfer. Select two edges to trim or extend as needed to their intersection location. Where you select the edge determines uh, which end of the edge is modified. Select an edge in an area where you want it on to be trimmed. The portion of the edge up to its intersection with other edge, axis line or point will be removed. If the edge does not intersect anything, it will be deleted. If the ignore axis box is checked, then axis lines uh, will be ignored uh, when determining the trim extent. Note that pre-selected edges are ignored. Select an edge near the end of the edge uh, that you want extended to its intersection with another edge, axis line or point. If you have previously trimmed this spline, extend uh, can be used on it. However, it cannot extend the spline beyond the ends of its original definition. If the ignore axis box is checked, then uh, axis lines will be ignored uh, when determining extensions. Our pre-selected edges are ignored. A split. There are several distinct right mouse button options to this function, so be sure to choose which you want before selecting an edge. First, a split edge at selection. Uh, so that's the default option. It splits an edge into two pieces at the selection location. A split edge into n equal segments. Uh, set the value n in the edit box and then select the edge which you want to split. A split edge at all points. Select an edge and uh, it is a split at all points that is passes through and uh, that have a constant constraint to it. and a split edge at point. Select a point and all edges uh, which pass through the selected point are split there. Select a point or an edge to drag uh, using the cursor. How the model uh, will change depends on both what you select and existing constraints and dimensions on the model. You can drag a group of edges uh, by pre-selecting them before choosing this tool. For finer editing of the shape of the spline, uh, you may want to use the spline edit function instead. Spline edit this function contains a special tools for modifying flexible spline. You must first select a valid spline to edit, I mean a flexible in current plane and under constraint. 
If you drive a result that you don't want during one of the edit modes, you can use the under icon at the top of the screen to back out the changes. Via the right mouse button, you can choose to select new spline, refit spline, create missing fit points, create missing control points, delete new fit points, drag fit points, uh, drag control point, insert fit point, and delete fit point. Spline must be in the current plane, flexible, and in an under constraint status. If it is not flexible, you will be asked if you want to change it to be flexible. This will then automatically take you into the drag fit point mode by default. You can use the right mouse button to change to a different mode as needed. Refit SPLI Actually, if you have modified SPLI via the modify drag function or via other dimensions and constraints, uh, that change the relative position of its fit points, it can introduce a strain in the spline uh, that may lead to bulges or even loops. This option uh, will refit the spline through the current locations of the fit points, modifying the parameters on the spline uh, where uh, they are located, as well as parameters related to all other constraints and dimensions to the spline. Uh, this relieves uh, the internal strain on the SP line and allows uh, for a smoother curve avoiding the uh, bulges and loops uh, caused by internal strain. Refitting the SP line uh, will generally change uh, one or more of its control point positions. Create missing fit points. Actually, when you first create a spline, there are options to create it with or without actual fit points. An advantage of having fit points while editing the spline is that we can fix the location of existing points uh, while uh, doing a refit. Also, while dragging a fit point uh, with the drag fit point option, uh, we fix all other existing fit points during the drag operation. If you don't want to keep the fit points created by this function, you can use the next option to remove them before you exit this function or select a new USB line to edit. Create missing control points. When you first create a SP line, there are options to create it with or without a control points. These are points that can be used to control the shape of the SP line. While you can use mm, drag control point uh, in this function without having the control points actually defined, having them uh, enables you to use them in dimensions, constraints, and uh, in the normal drag function. This option allows you to create them or any that uh, may be missing due to uh, deletions or uh, insertions of fit points since the original spline definition. Delete new fit points. This option will delete any new fit points created by the option above if used uh, prior to exiting the function or selecting a new spline to edit. Drag fit point. This option will allow you to uh, drag the nearest fit location, whether there is a fit point there or not, while keeping the location of all other fit locations fixed. This also continuously does a refit as you are uh, dragging to avoid internal strain on the SP line. Drag control point. This option will display the control point locations for the SP line with a polyline connecting them. You can select and drag this control location similar to the fit points above. As you drag a control location, other nearby fit and control locations uh, may move as well. When the control points are moved, the fit points are constrained uh, to their current parametric locations on the SP line, but the SP line will not be refit through the fit points in this option. This option can be used uh, for finer control of the curve uh, than direct movement of the fit locations. Insert fit points. For this option, 
Uh, the location U indicate uh, will be projected onto the SP line to determine its order in um, relation to the existing fit locations. The location cannot be the same as an existing fit location and cannot be beyond the original start or end location of the SP line. Once the location's order is determined, the SP line will be refit, uh, including the new fit location. Delete fit point. Here you can select a fit location to be removed from the SP line. Note that you cannot reduce the number of fit locations below 3 and you cannot delete the end locations. With the cut tool, you can uh, cut the sketch and then uh, paste uh, on where you want. And with the copy tool, uh, you can uh, make copies uh, from this case. There is an other useful tool and uh, this is offset. Actually, the offset function allows you to create a set of lines and arcs that are uh, offset by an equal distance from an existing set of straight lines and circular arcs. The original set of lines and arcs uh, must be connected in a simple end-to-end -end fashion and uh, can form either an open or closed profile. And the last things in this toolbox are replicate and duplicate. Actually, uh, replicate. Mm, I mean, the replicate command is equivalent to the copy command uh, followed by a paste. And about duplicate, I can say that this is a function designed to allow you to easily duplicate items from another sketch in the current plane or the plane boundary into the current sketch.